Whereas arbitration, quite similar to um, adjudication, again, you submit to either one expert or a panel expert, right? And mm. then uh, you go to arbitration center, uh, it's more private, it's more confidential, and you also get, um, uh, if your dispute is related to construction, you can get a particular expert on construction to arbitrate on the matter. And then lastly, of course, we're talking about litigation, which is you go to the Malaysian courts, right? And of course, um, for the courts, it's it's based on quite random assignment, right? You may, there are specialist uh, construction court, but uh, in general, when you go to court, you don't really get to choose whether there's an expert that, that um, comes from your matter. Now, um, how the thought process, uh, when you came to me, uh, of course, I look at the contract and I, and, and I saw that there's an arbitration clause, which means that um, probably going to court wasn't a op option, right? Because you have technically agreed in the contract for your dispute to be submitted to arbitration. So, which means what you're you're saying is that if there's an arbitration clause, um, it 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 holds me from moving to to litigation. Is that uh, what you mean? In a way, yes, because you have actually agreed for arbitration to be uh, the way you resolve your dispute. Okay. Right? So um, we have arbitration act in Malaysia and once you have agreed in your contract for it to be submitted to arbitration, if you end up starting a dispute, um, there is uh, an argument that can be taken to, to, to suspend the dispute at the court and then bring it to arbitration. Mm. Yeah, so if if there's arbitration clause, then of course we wouldn't advise our client to go for uh, litigation anymore because you know the eventuality is that it will still be suspended and then transferred to arbitration as the proper forum as you call it. Mm. Yeah, whereas um, in in your case, we were looking at adjudication as a a quicker method, right? Because notwithstanding that you have arbitration as the the sort of the final way to solve, to resolve the dispute. Um, the route of adjudication is always there because the whole basis of adjudication is that it's quick. Uh, you get the expert to hear it. And um, the idea was to reduce this whole delay uh, mm. in, in payment in the construction uh, industry, right? Where maybe the main contractor is uh, holding off payment to the subcontractor, causing further delays to the project. So the whole purpose of SIPA really was, uh, you know, grounded in a very uh, simple concept that is uh, mentioned in a few of the judgment, which is uh, pay first, argue later. Right. Yeah. So which means even, um, let's say in, through a construction, there are four progress payments. If the second progress payment is late, I can also submit for SIPA. Sure. And continue with the construction. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's at every single milestone, every single uh, payment phase, if there is a a dispute, right? I mean, which arise right from a construction, may maybe from the con the subcontractor side, um saying that hey, work is done, you know, you payment should be made.